TJ Girl, Zebra Coco, and we are here at Rocky's Sports Bar in Manhattan on 34th Street and 10th Avenue. We're doing the second edition of the showcase for Not For Nothing Music, everybody, hosted by B-Way and also Rob Curry of Day 26. Performing tonight is Willie from Day 26, and we got a host of other performers in the building, and we're going to bring it live to you. We're going to interview you, going to see some performances. Hopefully, we have the band in the building. So shout out to Not For Nothing Music. Shout out to my partner, Rock Runner Press, who is in the building helping me to capture all this footage. And again, I'm your girl, Deborah Coco, and we'll be back with more, everybody. part of Not For Nothing Music. And matter of fact, tell us a little bit about what you do and your role within the Not For Nothing Entertainment. Well, uh, me, B-Way, uh, Joe, we uh, began this Not For Nothing thing. Uh, we call it this thing of ours. And we want to bring dope music. I mean, we want to bring those people who uh, haven't been heard yet to the forefront. Good. We got um, a lot of excellent talent coming out. And uh, some of it you're going to see tonight. Right, right. Tell us a little bit about your roster, who you working with. Um, well, you know, we got Nimrod, he performed last time. Right. We have Robert Curry of Day 26. We have his partner, Willie, uh, coming out tonight. He's in the building tonight, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, you already know, and I um, expect everybody to enjoy themselves, have a great time. Real, real true talent tonight. No one to be disappointed. Good. Now tell us, what are you looking for? Like, are you looking to bring on more artists on your roster? Or is there any place somebody could contact you if they want to be considered to be a part of your team? Yeah, well, um, first and foremost, you can come to Diamond Hunters. Right. That's the best way to uh, get involved with this thing of ours. Okay. And, um, you know, come be seen. Uh, if you could do your thing live, we know you could do it in the studio. That's right. That's a good way to tell right off the back, right? Any website information, any social media you want them to look you up and follow what you're doing? I'm going to be honest right now. My kids make fun of me. They say, Daddy, uh, why are you so old? Because I'm not an internet type of dude. I'm oh, going to wow. leave that to my partners. Okay. So in uh, in the video, we need to edit right from me to all that information, maybe down here somewhere. All right. We could definitely put that down in there. Absolutely. So again, Not For Nothing Music, make sure you check it out, support. And again, you're going to hear more information coming up on how you can be down with the team, y'all. We'll be Thank back you. with more. God Thank bless. you. Hey, 
everybody, this is your girl Deborah Coco, and I am back with Mikey. He's one of the judges of the event tonight. So I know you said you got labels, you got things going on. So fill us in on what's happening with you. My name is Mikey De Niro. I'm an event promoter. I'm also an A&R label head. I run my own label, record label called Empire Music Group. Nice. I got my artist Bree opening tonight. Uh, you can follow her at Breeland underscore music. That's B-R-I-I-L-Y-N-N-E-E -E, underscore music. You can follow my other artist, artist Aaron Edib. Okay. At A-R-I-N-E-D-I-B. And how many artists do you have on your roster? I have two right now. Okay, good. So they can follow your social media site. You have a website yes, they can I go do. to to follow you. Okay, tell us. Just go on my Instagram. I am Mikey De Niro, all one word. D E N A R O. Now you say you have the label, and what else are you working with today? You well, I'm also an event promoter. Okay. So I've done shows with Joel Santana, nice. Nicki Minaj, Kevin Hart, wow. Mario, Cassidy, Lloyd Banks, um, the whole G Unit actually. Major. Um, Remy Ma, Papoose, Joe Budden, like... Oh, wow. That, that, show no, no. Everybody. that is a very, very impressive roster. Do you have any events coming up that you want to promote that's, that's already uh, well, in the bookings? We're working on something right now for October. Okay. I can't really go into it. You okay, know, contracts you, paperwork, yes, yeah, I understand. Contracts being drawn up, but it's going to be a zoo, so... No, I need to follow. I need to check that out and come out. So, again, how could they follow you and talk to you? Instagram, I am Mikey De Niro. It's all one word, and that's D-E-N-A-R-O. Now, what are you looking for tonight as a judge? What are you? Who are you going to pick to be the winner? What are tonight, the qualities? I want to see raw talent. Right. I know B-Way said they're giving a distribution deal through Sony to the winner. Right. So I want to see raw talent and potential. Potential is really the most that I want to see. Okay. You know, because like, that word... That word means so much, potential. It's true. Because and you can look at somebody and see if you could build upon. Exactly. You know, the foundation has to be solid. And you can tell. When, since you've been in the business for a you, while, you, you have a good ear for ten it, Ten right? years I've been doing this. See, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So you definitely got an ear when something stands out, right? Exactly. Okay. So. All right. So I'm going to be looking with them. I'm going to be looking and see, is that the one? I'm going to be pointing out trying to see who's the one. Hey, but listen. we'll be back with the winner tonight, y'all. Take care, guys. All right, check him out, Mikey. Thank you. Everybody, I'm standing here with Breland. Hey. She opened up the show, did a wonderful oh, yes. performance for us tonight. Thank Give you. us a little information on your singing career. Like, tell us what's happening with you. All right, well, I've been in the music industry for quite some time now. I've been performing a long time. Okay. Um, but right now, I'm working with Mike right now, and he's really helping me boost all my social media presence and getting my music out there again. And uh, I'm going to be putting my EP out really soon. Okay. So uh, I'm going to really start getting myself known out there. Uh, it's Breland Music on Instagram. Nice. You can pretty much find me anywhere on the internet. And it's pretty easy. <laughs> so give us a little insight about the project that you're working on. What can we expect from Breland coming out very soon? All right. So it's kind of unexpected for most people. Okay. I, uh, I'm a little bit of R&B pop. I like that mainstream sound. But I'm actually also a rapper, so you're going to see a little bit of that. Okay. Um, <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. I like recording. I love writing. I love rapping. It's more fun for me. Singing yeah. always came really naturally yeah. to me, but yeah. rapping is, like, fun, you know? <laughs> I gotta see that. I would like to check right, that yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. But I see you definitely got the soulful rhythm, which oh, I definitely you. like. I enjoyed it. I said, wow, she has a voice. Not, thank you. I actually grew up singing gospel with my choir. Yeah, I could tell. Yeah. I could definitely <laughs> tell. Thank so we you. definitely are looking out for that project. Thank you so much. And I'm happy to see that you're enjoying the journey. Thank you. That's I more am. important. I you're am. trying a little bit of everything. And I think, look, just have fun with it. Oh, of course. Right? That's all you can do. Right. What's the point of doing music? if you don't enjoy it. Some people get so stressed out behind this, that, like the oh, small no. stuff. If I did that, I never would have gotten up right, there. He asked right. me on the spot. Right. <laughs> and Stay I was focused like, oh. and follow that dream and that passion that got Absolutely. you started in the beginning, right? Absolutely. All right, everybody. This is Breland. Make sure you support her. Check her out.
We'll be back for more. Thank you. Hey, everybody. I'm standing here with Tone J from VA. Yeah. He is in the building. He came to Rockies to do his thing That's and perform. It. Yeah. And show us what it's all about. So what's up with you? What's going on? What's up with you? You look great, by the way. Thank Deborah you. Coco. Thank you. Beautiful. Yes, check yeah. me out. Follow me. Absolutely. So tell us about your music. What you going to do tonight? Well, I'm an R&B artist. I'm Tone J from Hot Helen from Virginia. Virginia Beach, Virginia. Nice. You know what I mean? Coming to shut it down with a little bit of R&B tonight. You Ooh, know what I mean? Oh, we like yeah. R&B. Yeah. Absolutely. You Is it going to be wrong. with the band or you brought your own music with you? No, it's going to be my own music. Got okay. my own vibe going on. That little bit of psychedelic soul with a nice. little bit of pop. You know what I'm saying? R&B undertone going on. like that. Yeah. Like yeah. that, like that's a different combination. Exactly. So how do you stay unique? How do you not follow the trends? How do you stay true to who you are in this music game? For me, it's all about the lyrics. You know, I, I got a good delivery and lyrics. It's emotional, it's passionate. It take you on a roller coaster. Nice. It's something you can vibe to, dance to, but it also has you thinking. So I feel Ooh. like that sort of separates me apart. Yeah. Oh, and he was yeah. ready, y'all. He was ready, and you, you had a good answer. Thank that was you. a good answer. Yeah. We can't wait to catch his show later on, but how can they follow you, social media, give all that, you know? Yeah. So follow me, IG, at hits for days That's H-I-T-Z, number four, D-A-Y-S. Also, Tone Killer 26 Also got my own website. That's uh, INS Studios. Dot org. This is my own label right nice. here. So make sure you show some support. Nice. I'm on all major platforms under Tone J. T O N E J. Title, iTunes, Spotify. Yeah. Operation Awaken, is that That's you? It. That's me all day. Tell this us is my about label. That. What's that about? So Operation Awaken, this corresponds to my um, my single I'll be performing tonight called Let's Roll or Dr. Freaky Sign. Nice. But pretty much it's about um, just awakening the mind in a sensual, sexual way, you know? Mm. Yeah. Sensual, sexual way. That's it. Okay. R&B all day. Usually I hear social conscious, but I like that too. We need that too, yeah, though. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's nice, y'all. Y'all gonna see what's up with Tony J from VA. Yo, he's gonna do perform and do his thing, and make sure yeah. you follow him. Support, Thank support you. independent artists doing their thing. He traveled all the way from down there VA, to New right. York to show us what he got, y'all. So we gonna check him out. We'll be back with more. Shorty built for speed and for comfort. Results looking good, just keep them numbers coming. Built to perfection with seamless dimensions. So passing the rest, they desire your specs. Making a name with your own plane of fame. Good easy, move on to the next. Put a gun straight in your game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, everybody, I'm standing here with Quincy. Here's part of the band that's going to be performing tonight called The Struggle. And I love that name. It's totally different. Give us some information on you, the band, how you came up with that name, too. So get into that. So really, the uh, the band name actually came from the, the front man. Uh, he goes by J-Life. Okay. And so we're J-Life in The Struggle. And uh, it's pretty much a play on words where you know what that, that life is a struggle and everything. Yes, and, yes. and so it works out that way. And it's a, ni it's a nice... It's twist. clever. It's clever. It's a nice clever twist where it's like, okay, the struggle, what they're going to sound like, but, right. we, but we're not a struggle. Mm. We're not a struggle. So explain the music, though. How? What's the feel of the, of the band? Uh, so where, how y'all moving it? Mainly R&B. Nice. So I'm trying to keep it, uh, keep the soul in it. Uh -huh. uh, but real, but real R and B, not okay. not just what's on the radio, but kind of keep some like of that, that old real, school vibe. Like the soulful, like, yeah, the soul like that get down in your your gut type of thing. That's Absolutely. what we missing. That's what we missing. So how long you been? You do keyboard. I do keyboards. How many years have you been playing keyboard? Uh, I've been playing since I was 16. I'm wow. 28 now. So and you learned professionally, or it was something that you just loved and you just started playing. Like uh, so, I had formal lessons. I went to college nice. for music as well. Okay. Um, but I also grew up in church and everything, and so. Uh, it's self taught that's as well. the best place to learn right grow yeah. up in church that's one of the best places you can learn how to do the keyboard yeah, so what are we gonna hear tonight can you tell us the songs or we have to wait until later uh, well, I can tell you some songs okay right? um, so for J life we're actually gonna be doing uh, two of two of his songs one called you are which is on his album that's out right now okay uh, called songs about her and one other song that's not on the album but it's on his SoundCloud uh, called Venus Fire Trap Nice. Okay, now do you have music out where they can go and purchase right now? Is it on like iTunes or any place they can go purchase some of your music? Yes, yeah, so you can check out uh, the music on at, under the artist name J Life, J L L Y F E. Okay. okay. Uh, on Apple Music, Spotify, everywhere. Good. Songs good. about her. All right, make sure y'all check that out, everybody. Is there any social media where they can follow you personally or? Oh uh, yes, they, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, everywhere at Q V A L E N T. 
All right. Well, I'm excited. Nice to meet you. Nice I'm you excited too. to see the band do their thing. And we'll be back with more, everybody. This is Quincy. Make sure you follow. with Jay Life. He is the lead singer How you doing? for the band that's going to be performing tonight. Now tell us, give us some background information on you. Oh, my name is Jay Life, originally from Birmingham, Alabama. When I moved to New York five years ago, four years ago, I started a band called The Struggle, and we uh, do neo soul mixed with funk nice. and a little uh, hip hop. That's a nice combination. Now what songs are y'all going to be doing for us tonight? So we're going to be doing a few original songs and then... Uh, that was a surprise. Okay, we, okay, yeah. we gotta wait and see later, yeah, everybody. Yeah, wait for that one. Now, how long you been the lead? How long have you had the group? How long has it been? I've had the band four years. Four years. Yes. So you came from Alabama. Do you live in New York now? Came from Alabama, live in New York. All right. So yeah. what did you come? You came to pursue the dream, then for the band to go big. And from New York, you came here to follow the dream. I came here because I'm a musician and an actor also. Oh, so nice. when I moved here, you know, it only felt right to be in a city that really fosters right. art. Right. And back home, you know, unless you trying to do some money tonight, you know, where do we want the place to be? Well, this is definitely a good place for acting as well. Yeah. So you're definitely at the right place to try to make both of them, you know, kick off for you. So, acting, how's you been at, how's it been acting since you've been to New York? How's acting been? Yeah, how has that been? I've been actually been good also. I was just on HBO last week for the new show called Random Acts of Flyers. Nice. And I finished up off Broadway show back in November. So it's, it's been right. going well. Congratulations Thank to you. Thank you so much. And is there any social media, anything that you want to promote where people can follow you and see what you're doing? You can follow me on social media at J-L-L-Y-F-E -L -L on all social media sites. Uh, you can download my album on iTunes, Spotify. Right. Same name, J-L-L-Y-F-E. We'll be back with more, everybody. Thank you so much. Okay, um, born in California, moved out when I was about seven. Uh -huh. uh, born, seven? Yeah, seven. <laughs> That's so, early. So young, so young. Uh, born and raised in Cincinnati, or born in California, okay. but raised in Cincinnati, Ohio. Nice. Um, so I went to school in Cincinnati, Ohio, and then when it was time for college, I actually got a scholarship to go to Berklee College of Music in Boston. Nice. Yeah, so I went from 2012 to 2016. Mm. After that, when I graduated, I moved home for about a year. Uh -huh. And then I've been in New York for, woo, for a little bit over a year now. 
Oh, which, so it's which like is you shocking. just got here. You're it's just been a, fast. It's been fast. It's the time flew by fast Yeah, for you? it really seems like I just moved here, to So be that honest. means you've been very busy since you got here. So how about the band? How do you love being in a band, the drummer? Like, how did that come about? So about, about this time last year, kind of when I first moved here, uh, Justin, the singer, uh -huh. he hit me up to sub for this church gig oh, in Harlem okay. Okay. on uh, 115th or something. Uh -huh. And uh, we met through there. We started playing, um, played in that group for about three months. Okay. Um, and then ended that. And then very recently, he got in touch with me for a gig. I can't remember where. He got in touch with me very recently for a gig. Okay. And uh, this is our second gig, gig that we played together. You yeah. got that. I heard it's a little neo soul. Yeah, it's like R&B, neo soul. Uh, every Me a little less. Okay. But most, most guys come from a gospel background. Okay. Neo soul, funk. I like so far. I feel like everybody's coming from different places. Like you come from Cali, yeah. And then the lead singer, he said he's from Alabama. I didn't even know that. Yeah. I, I met the dude today. He's from Alabama, so I'm because I'm excited to see all these different combinations. Because yeah. I mean, music is different. I think in every I'm region, the, uh, you know. I think I've been in New York the shortest. I think Justin, the singer, has been here for like five years. Yeah, four to five uh, years. Other dudes have been here about the same, so I'm still kind of the baby of the a group. A very exciting combination for everybody. I want to see how oh, this yeah. going I down. Mean, I, again, Justin and I, and I have played in church. We okay. had the previous gig. Wow. But um, the other dudes I haven't played with that often, and we're, we're vibing very well. Okay, yeah. very good. Yeah, yeah. Is there any sites or social media that you want to promote? Yeah, I got to make sure I no, got it correct. No, make sure. We want to definitely yeah, get that it's, right. Uh, it's D McGonigal. D M C G O N E G L E. Okay. That's all my uh, my band stuff, my music, everything that's coming out, what I'm doing. Good, yeah. good. Make sure you follow him, everybody, and you can really see him hit those jumps live very, very soon. You'll see me around New York for sure. Right. We'll be back with more. Yeah. the fourth member of the group that we're going to see live very, very soon. Now give us some information on you, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> uh, my name is Henny, I'm from Harlem. Okay. Uh, Haitian, absolutely. Uh, yeah, that's it, I do music, all types of music, and that's all I do. How long you been doing music? My whole life. Your, your whole life? From that's young, it. you started playing? Now you said you play the bass. I play the bass, but I also play piano, drums. Nice. Keyboard, whatever you need me to play, wherever it's at, I'm there. So you always been musically inclined. That's it. Okay. Any singing involved? No singing? Yeah. Do some singing, but <laughs> as long as we cut in the check, you know what I'm saying? Right. That depends. That that changes everything, you gotta, right? You gotta pay for my vocal cords. Uh, right. Right. <laughs> have you ever been by yourself, like a solo artist, or have you always been with a group? Uh, I do some stuff like alone. I, I do my own stuff on the side. I produce. Okay. You know? But uh, I support a lot of great artists in the city too. Good, good. Who do you like? What kind of music gravitates to, you gravitate to more? Uh, you know, anything that's done with love. Oh. I can always feel that. Nice. I can also feel too. Right. Uh, that's, a, that's a good gift to have right yeah. there. The Any sermon. social media, anything you want people to follow you on? Uh, on Instagram, it's no name to you, spelled phonetically. And uh, Facebook, it's Hanog. Basle Montez. Yeah, that's now it. Now make sure when y'all watching that performance, y'all check him out and why he's doing his thing. And follow him and see what he got going on. Any events you want to promote? Uh, well, I'll be in New Orleans. New Orleans? Yeah. That's uh, I love, a love it down there. So you can find me out there. Okay. Doing my thing. Solo or with the band? Solo. Okay, check him out, y'all. We'll get to work over there. What's the venue? You already know? Uh, I've been there for a couple of months, so we're probably going to hit everything. Okay. So look for him, like he said, in New Orleans very, very soon. Yeah. And follow him on social media, y'all. We'll be back with some more. Follow him. For the past few months. How long about? About eight, nine months. Eight, about eight, nine months. Um, just developing his craft, working extra, extra hard. Studio rap, right, writing his stuff. And uh, we're very proud to have him here. Keep up the good work here, bro. Yeah, yeah.
Where's my other bottle up? All these girls dancing, but they ain't no models, duh. My day one Victor, he been down the road. Call him beat the gold, cause he only rock design the clothes. I'm the goal to set the record straight. I told Joseph we gon' get this record straight. Just you wait until I cop that break. Until I get it, ain't nobody. Everybody, I'm sitting here with Rezzo. You seen him at the last Not For Nothing music right. showcase that we did, but he is back again to do his thing. What do you love about coming and performing here at Rockies for Not For Nothing music? What do you love about it the most? I feel like the thing I love the most is just the feeling of unity that you get in such a confined space. Right. Like It's not too big, but obviously people are out here, you know what I yes. mean? Yes. You just yes. get to like connect with each of them individually, and that's what I really do enjoy about music in general. Right. But of course, being here. I definitely agree. So we got to get into you real quick. Give them some more information. If you've been doing shows or have shows coming up, let them know what's happening with you now. Um, I've actually been doing a, a couple of shows before this point right here. I've um, been to Essentials on Fordham Road, Crane Theater down in Manhattan. Okay. And, um, yeah, I've done quite a few showcases before this point, and I feel good about myself. You know, I, I do feel like I've accomplished a lot in my short time. Good. And there's only more coming through, so. So we talked about music dropping the last time. Did it drop already? Is it about to drop? No, right now we're just putting the final touches on everything. Everything's getting redone a little bit, but okay. so that's finished. It's definitely coming now. Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. Now, where can they follow you on social media? Give your sites again. Uh, you can find me on Instagram at Rezo underscore the great, R-E-Z-O underscore the great. Uh, the link to my SoundCloud is in my bio. And like I said, more coming soon. Hey, make sure you follow him and support y'all. It is live right now here at Rocky's Bar. Live. Not for nothing music entertainment. This is how they do, y'all. We'll be back with more. I'm standing here with Robert Curry of Day 26. On? He is hosting again at Rockies. I know y'all caught the last oh, edition that we did last oh, month, but we are here again ready to set it off. This man's on tour, <laughs> traveling, doing all these things. Let us know what's going on with you, Rob. Man, God is good. Like you said, I'm touring, man. Day 26 is out here in um Promoting our new album that actually drops in a, about another week and a half. All right, we always catch you. Now tell us about the album dropping. What's going? What's Man, the name it's, of it? It's, gonna, uh, it's called a new day. Okay, new day. And um, we've been working on it for about almost a year now. Okay. So we finally finished it. Now we're about to put it out there for them to hear us and you know I'm give our excited. fans what they want. Are they already like when you're out now on tour? You're already singing some songs from the new release. Actually, we released a single um, from the album already, so we've been performing that. And okay. you know we do love bits and pieces but the third run of the tour was what we about to do now and we're going to be doing a lot of songs from the new record now can you tell us some of the places you know some of the places where you're going off the top um right now um we start off in texas well the third run we start off in texas okay houston austin dallas um nice then we shooting over to north carolina um going from north carolina to chicago we wow. got a, a busy another that, that's a full itinerary everybody i better make sure y'all follow him definitely. on social media so you can find out where he is going to be at right definitely definitely www.day26experience.com nice you can find us anywhere y'all need to do like a web series or something somebody should you be know what? following y'all you know what i'm saying making this one of these new shows on vh1 well you know First um year, just it, so right. you know I'm a little sneak peek. We've been filming. So I'm oh, going to just say have. that. We've been filming Where they a little tonight, bit. Where tonight, I need to be in that. You know what We've I'm saying? We've been filming it. And guess what? My um, One of my group members is coming by tonight. Willie Taylor will be here tonight. Shout out to Willie Day. Be excited. I've never met him or seen him do his thing. So we want to see that. And I heard that he was performing. So I'm excited. Yeah, he's coming through. He's going to do a song or two. performing too, right? I mean, you know, I'm hosting, so I'm always doing a little song here now. But because I love that harmonizing you did the last time, I was like, "All right, Rob, all right, right you, I see you. what you're doing. Thank I see you what so you're much. doing. Follow him on social. No, oh, I'm screaming. There you go. Follow him on social media, everybody. And that, matter of fact, let him know what that is. At Rob underscore A underscore Curry. That's Instagram and Robert A Curry on Facebook. All right, y'all. We'll be back with more. Hi, everybody. I'm standing here with Talib A Shakur. AKA the OG from Pray Before You Eat web series that's coming out very soon, Divided We Fall. 
So tell us a little bit about the project, and then we'll get into how you feel about tonight's events. Yes, first let me say it's an honor to be here with Deborah Coco. Just give me the mic. I'm here with Not For Nothing, with Broadway in them. Yo, listen, I'm Talib H. Core. I'm an actor in the movie Pray Before You Eat, yes. Divided We Fall, that's coming soon to Netflix, right? I'm the OG who set up this jewelry store that's a money laundering for $1.5 million. Y'all got to see the rest, man. Just saying, yo, listen, I'm working. Check me out on YouTube, yes. Talib A. Shakur. Check me out on Facebook, Talib A. Shakur, and Instagram, and the Ambassador of Harlem. I'm working on a couple of projects. Look for me, y'all, because I'm here. I'm coming. I'm already here. <laughs> so let's talk about the music that's going on tonight. This is the second time you've come out to support Not For Nothing Music. How do you feel about the events and the artists and the, and the ambiance, the feel in the air. How do you feel about it? Yo, it's lovely, yo. Good people, good time, good energy, good support. Broadway is doing it. Joe is doing it. I support these brothers, and I support you, Miss Deborah Coco. <laughs> Thank we you. We having fun. Yes. Shout out to my man, Veg, yo. Rock Runner Entertainment is yes. in the building. Salute. Yes. Any social media? You already promoted the social media. Yes. I gave you all my social media. Look for me, y'all. Yes. Upcoming artists. I'm not upcoming. I'm already here, yo. <laughs> Look for me, okay? Right. We'll be right back with more, everybody. Thank you. You'll have still a good going night. Down. Enjoy. Still going down at Rockies. We are here. Rockin'. Capturing everything that's going down for Not For Nothing Music. Shout out again to Paperwork Joe, Joseph Odom, and B-Way for putting this together. And the host, Robert Curry, and Willie Taylor. Look, I came in the building for Day 26 to Rockin'. actually perform. Great performance, but we'll be back with more. We got so much more to show you. Yo, what's up? This your man, Willie Taylor. And right now, I'm rocking with my girl, Deborah Coco. Deborah Coco, just give me the mic. You know what I'm going to do with it. You know what I'm going to do with it. Keep it locked. Hey, everybody. This is your girl, Deborah Coco. And I am back with Willie Taylor of Day 26. Yo, what's up? This is your man, Willie Taylor. And right now, I am live with the beautiful Deborah Coco. Thank you. I like that. That's a good way to open up an interview. Yeah, let's do it. Now, I saw you perform tonight. I was blown away. Your Thank voice you. is just so... Dreamy, you know. Thank you, thank you. So I mean, day twenty six years later, y'all still perform on yeah, tour. Yeah. Going places. Yeah. So how you feeling about what's going on with the group right now? I feel like it's really, really, it's big for me right now. We just did a twenty six city tour. Wow. We sold out majority of the dates. The fans were incredible. They followed us. We had some fans coming from who saw the the tour, uh, the, the concert ten times. Wow. That following different coming to different cities and different states, man. So it was big for us, man. And now we got a third leg we finna pick up as well as we dropping a new EP, wow. a new day. So nice, yeah. nice. But I'm saying your voice is still strong, like like it was yesterday when your first came out. How do you keep it like that? I mean, the melodies, the range, well, everything is like, I mean, y'all will not be disappointed if you come out to these shows. I've seen two members live right now yeah. awesome awesome yeah. but how do you keep that like keep that it's like, going when, when singing is like a passion for you it's more than just the money right so we do you know you're always singing and singing and singing and you're always strengthening them chords right so it, it never leaves you know oh my gosh definitely have to check you out now is that do you do other things outside of music in the entertainment business or is that still your main focus yeah well i'm um actually taylor made is the promotional company that's taking a tour on the road okay so that's the behind the scenes part of it and and then uh, the group 826 Boys, the, the label, is putting the album out. Nice. So it's, a, it's a nice little stream of things that we got going on. Okay. In-house, it's not actually us in front of the mic, but it's behind. Good. Yeah. Now, is it possible that, I know you're out, there's a lot of big things with reality going on right now. Is there something like in the works going on capturing this tour and like the movements that y'all are making right now? Most definitely. Most, Most definitely. definitely. Yeah. Okay. Can you talk yeah. about it a little bit? Or? Well, you just get, of course, uh, Brian just uh, stepped out of the group. 
Okay. And that was a, a shock to everybody. But right. we get we dig deeper into that that story and that situation. Okay. And then everybody get to see exactly where we coming from. So they can see this all still family love. Right. But at the end of the day, as you grow, things change. Right. No, so, yeah. definitely, definitely. Yeah. It's part of the business and growth in general. Yeah. In any part of your life. Yeah, you know what I mean? So what can we expect from day 26 today with the new music? Oh, it's incredible. It's, it's incredible. I can it's, imagine. Next, it's next level. I think we wanted to we wanted to tap into today's R&B, but then we want to give you such a soulful feeling right. that it reminds you of what we do. Right. And that's the same. I so, mean, yeah. it's been a long time since I hear people singing. I just be wanting to hold my stomach like, oh my God. Like, you can feel it. Yeah. Like, just like I can hear you executing it out your mouth. Like, I was feeling those lyrics, you know? Right. And that's been missing yeah. a little bit. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yes. So what about your personal growth? Yeah. Like, how do you feel? Because it's hard to start out kind of young in the business. And, you know, the business changed, people changed, like you Everything said. Changed. Like, how has your journey been throughout this whole process so far? It's, 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 it's definitely been a roller coaster. Right. You know, um, but, you know, um, at the end of the day, man, when, we, when you keep God first. Right. It's a whole different ball game. That's so true. That's I've true. been able to maintain in this industry of ups and downs right. for over 10 years. Wow. And take care of my family, and and keep making different moves in different directions, and, and keeping uh, you know just keeping everything moving. That's a I beautiful think, yeah, thing. That really is, is a beautiful thing. Now, where can people follow you on social media? On Instagram is at Willie underscore Taylor. But honestly, you could just go to my website WillieTaylor.com, and everything's there. Okay. Anything you want to say to your fans who've been supporting you? Hey, for? love y'all so much. I'm nothing without y'all. My family, my family thanks you all for everything right. you've been able to do for us throughout the years. And we got more great things coming, so continue to pay attention. Watch. Yes, Willie Taylor, y'all, of Day 26. And I'm your girl, Deborah Coco. Make sure you support, follow them, come Deborah out Coco. to them shows, get those tickets, right? Yeah. That too. Most definitely. And follow real music. That's all we say. Real, real R&B from the soul. Yeah. That's what they are representing. So stay tuned, y'all. More is coming. We'll be back. Y'all keep it locked to Deborah Coco. Everybody, I'm standing here with Sammy Alexandra, and she just blew us all away with this beautiful, beautiful voice. Thank the you. acapella was beautiful. The other song, what was the other song that you did? Was that an Pop. original? Yes, it was. Keep that same energy. It was beautiful, beautiful, and it was meaningful. I was listening to the words, trying to catch it. It really has a real good meaning yeah, to it. Absolutely. Now, tell me a little bit about your music because. I know you had your voice is very strong and have you had I know you had training because your voice is just yeah. yes so I mean I grew up singing I was singing since I was six years old singing wow. and songwriting I was in and out of choirs I directed my high school choir and I took voice lessons like sparingly yeah. I'm actually trying to get back into them but yeah it's it's my life it's what I do I cannot be without it the church is the best place to learn, right? Yeah, the best place to learn. Yeah, exactly. It'll bless your voice and everything, Absolutely. right? <laughs> that anointing oil. Yeah. Now tell us about your music. Like, what do you want your audience, the people that listen to you, what is the message that you want them to get from listening to your music? I just want the audience to just feel that they have someone to relate to, that they're not alone. Right. That maybe, maybe I'm not the only one who feels this way. Maybe I'm not the only one who thinks I'm crazy or who has experienced this, you know, I feel right. like I write, I write based on my experiences and it helps me realize, when I sing my songs and people can relate, it helps me realize that I'm not alone. Right. So I just want to share that with other people. Because it is therapeutic. It is. It is therapeutic. It does heal people. And that's what I love about the universal message of music. Because people can interpret it and it can help somebody in so many different ways. So I think that's the beauty of it as well. And I'm saying, who are some of the people that you listen to, that you like, that you follow? Oh, well, Whitney Houston is my mom. Wow. I love her. I love her too. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. Um, right now, in terms of like new artists, um, 
I think I think her is really dope. Um, nice. If we're talking about older artists, I love me some Lauren Hill. Right, right. You know? Yes. So, I can see it. I can see, yeah. I can see the influences yes. definitely. Yes. Now, do you have music and stuff out that they can follow and get? You know what? I am working on my music right now, so I will be dropping my EP in December 2018. Good. Okay. So we looking for it. Yes. We looking for it. now. Where's, where's your social media? Let us know again. Social media. You can follow me at Sammy Alexandra. That's S A M I Alexandra on Instagram and Twitter. That's yes. Right. Make sure you follow her yes, and please. check out support that project that's coming out in yes. September. D December. Huh? December. Oh, December. Okay. That's, that's still close. That's still close. <laughs> Close Make sure enough. you follow her yes. and support independent mm -hmm. artists. We are on the rise and females. Support real, real mm -hmm. R&B, everybody. And mm -hmm. we'll be back with more. Anything else you want to say to anybody out there? I love you guys. Thank you for the support in advance. And thank you for having yes. me on your show. You're welcome. You're welcome. Right. Make sure you follow Sammy Alexandra, everybody. And I'm your girl, Deborah Coco. We'll be back with more. I'm standing here with Sean Felder of XS Energy Drink. He is in the building supporting the Not For Nothing music. Showcase is going down right now at Rockies. Now give us a little background on your product that you are promoting. As you know, I've been doing this for eight years. You know, I've been on your shows a couple of times yes. and uh, just came from Atlanta, from Bronx to Atlanta. I did a radio show down there called Fox Trap Radio, talking okay. about the Essex movement. I'm on this website called, um, with Tommy Guns called the, uh, I forgot the name of the website. It's about me talking about the Essex movie. You can check it out on Facebook with Tommy Guns. Check it out, And it's a nice little interview. Talks about how I started with Essex Energy Drink with the models, being on show, stuff like that. Right. Very nice little interview with Tommy Guns. Check it out. All right. Check it out, everybody. Where can they follow you on social media to find out more about your product? You can check me out on uh, YouTube, Sean Felder Essex Promotions. Twitter, Sean Felder. Facebook, Sean Felder. My website, www Empathy Lifestyle. Talk about all the models and me, how I started with SX Energy Drink. If you want to call for the SX Energy Drink, call 1 800 235 6500. You must use a debit or credit card. 1 800 235 6500. All right. And there you have it. We'll be back with more. Thank y'all, SX Energy Drink. Thank you, Deborah. Hey, everybody. I'm standing here with King James. He is in the building supporting the event tonight. Give us some background on you and some of the things that you got going on. CEO, KOK, as you see here, but we here tonight representing Not For Nothing Music. Yes. You know, it's very big things Ooh. going on. Um, I got my artist, King y YK. He's going to be a killer from the Bronx slash Harlem. We got a lot of great music coming. I got a lot of big things I can't speak on, but I like to say big shout out to my family, DITC, Diamond D, Psychotic Neurotics. Shout out. Vinny Idol, New Bad Gang. We here. We doing big things. 2018. Yes, everybody. Again, and this is for Not For Nothing Music. We got King James in the building. Make sure you follow and support what he got going on. Give him your social media. Just look at uh, James King James Carter. Just look for that James King James Carter. You'll see it everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, King James 45th with the TH, 45TH. King James 45TH. We here live tonight, Rockies, bar and restaurant. Yes. Not for nothing music. It's going down, everybody. Hosted by B-Way, Robert Curry, and Willie Taylor of Day 26. We got Family. a band going on. J-Life, The Struggle, is performing live right now. And we'll be back with some more. Okay, okay.
comes on in the Bronx on Bronx and Channel 68 Cable Vision. And you can also catch it on MNN Network, Channel 2, on Sundays at 8 p.m. We're going to have the link up. We're trying to get everyone's social media information so we can hit you directly with the links. But we got people that travel from Alabama, Virginia, um, you know? People travel, Ohio, I've been people, speaking to people that's from all over, so we definitely need to stay connected. And just check me out, and we will provide you with the links. My name is Deborah Coco for Just Give It a Mic. You can follow me on all social media, Deborah Coco, or the show Just Give Me the Mic. It's on everything. So B Way, Joseph, they have the information as well. And I can also do individual interviews. You can actually come to the studio. I record at the TV studio. So you can come through and have an interview and tell us about what you're doing, your skills and your talents and everything. I definitely want to hear about it. So. Everybody, I'm standing here with Kai Freaky. His performance, I'm telling you, it was awesome. You dropped it down. And what's the name of that hook? What's the name of that song? In My Face. In My Face. I'm telling you, I love the way you did. You got into that song. You said you wrote it, right? Yes, I did. 100%. 100%? So what inspired that track right there? I need to know. What inspired you to do that track? Um, I just like... I went through an experience with someone just like leading them on to like I thought like they liked me and everything uh -huh. and they didn't really like me. they uh -huh. didn't really like me but to, but to track like you know you hear it and you're like you want right, to get right, right. <laughs> right. It. so why why not make a negative experience a positive experience right. that everyone can just you know just forget about and just have a good time. No, I agree. You know? Is that your first song that you did before? Or do you have other records that you worked um, on? That that is my first. I I like. I'm a pop artist, so I, I want to make sure that what I do is good. Okay. I, I kind of like will listen to other instrumentals and just test myself. What if I? What if they gave that to me? Right. What would I do to it? How would people like it? So. Okay, he put a lot of thought into that song, everybody. Now, where can they go to find it on social media? Where can they go? Do you have it up? Is it on iTunes, Apple Store? Where can they find it? Um, I don't have it on anything, only because the music is not mine. Okay. But like. But I'm, I'm I'm very active on Instagram though. Okay, give so. them your Instagram so they can follow you. I'm um, Instagram. If you just look up Kai Freaky, I'm always on there. So. Okay, uh, but can we get that hook, that little hook piece uh, right there? Because y'all gonna see the full performance, but I need to get that live right now while we're talking. Let me see that. Drop that. All right. All right. The way you up and rock and roll gave me the blues ruin my soul. No looking back right on that boat. I thought it was something in the air. Clearly, I know that no one there. Right. Thank you. Then he brings it in slow, y'all. Make sure you follow him on Instagram. Check him out. And check out that performance. Let him know what you think about that. We'll be back with more, y'all. We here at Rocky's Bar, y'all. It's a not-for-nothing music entertainment is going on right now. Showcases in full effect. We'll be back. Hey, everybody. I'm sitting here with Bass. He said he's from Harlem in the Bronx. He's representing NYC. Now, Back. tell us a little bit about your music. What kind of music you gonna do for us tonight, but not for nothing entertainment? Well, I, I got a little bit of new school music right now. Oh, okay. I'm kind of an old school type of guy, but not old school, but I got a different vibe for y'all tonight, and I'm exposed it for the people. So what's your normal vibe? Like how people know you as an artist? Uh, 
I'm a spitter. Okay. First of all. Gotta have I, real good skills yeah, for that. Yeah. You know what so I mean? So I gotta make the vibe that I, I got music that's called a noun sound. Okay. So I try to stay in a loop of everything that's going on so I don't miss nice. out. Nice. Yeah. A little bit of this, a little yeah. bit of that, a little bit I don't, of this. I don't classify it under one genre. I'm, you shouldn't. Right. That's when you lock yourself into a box with that. Exactly. So you appreciate a little bit of everything across the board. Facts. That's good though. That's right. good for your music ear as well. Yeah. So like how long you been doing music? Believe it or not, almost like 20 years. Okay, okay. Back. So that's in you. You've been right. doing this for a minute. So, like, how do you market yourself? Are you an independent artist? Yeah. I know that's hard. Right. And it's hard to get support, too, for people. Like, what is what is the well, thing that keep you going? How like, you moving? Uh, I got a company called Team Aura. Okay. Aura. Need a team. Yeah. Need a team, Back. right. And we kind of know. We was street team and okay. all that and all that, but... I brush shoulders with some of the best in the game, nice. so I still get that support for them, nice. from them, you know? It's important that you have a team. Yeah. It's hard to do the solo thing Big right about now. Big shout out to Team Aura, man. Right. Aura shout got out me to music, them. everything we do. Right. So, okay, so where can they follow you? Like, social media, You can follow websites. me on um, Instagram at okay. base, B-A-S-E-A-U-R-A-A, -A -A, two A's, base Aura. Now tell people who's supporting you, following you, oh, like man. how you feel about that. All the pretty ladies are supporting me right now. Ladies, okay. I love that. <laughs> and um, my big homie, big shout out to Rube, Tom the Bum, my cousin Seam, um, Deani and Zay. That's my kids. I don't do nothing without mentioning them. Right, right. Shout out to them. Yeah. Deani, Young Zay. Yes. And, um, Gotta shout out to everybody babies. in the Bronx. My 800 niggas. <laughs> I don't like to say that, but I had to get that out there. <laughs> Big shout to the mob. Y'all know what it is. All right, y'all. And social media, where they go? They saw her, Instagram. Oh, right. Check him out, y'all. Origami Music um, on iTunes and Spotify. Bass Origami. I just like talking over this music. This Hello. is hot right now. We're going to get into a good vibe, Miss Lady. It, yeah, yeah. You're going to get into mine? Yeah. This is hot. Right. Make sure you follow him, support y'all. It's all about the love of music. Hey, this is up. not for nothing music entertainment going down in Rockies right now. Hey. We'll be right back, y'all. Thank you. of the Not For Nothing Music Showcase. Tell us what's been going on with you since the last time we met. Like, what's been happening? Same thing, same thing, same thing. In the <laughs> music, studio, music, 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 music right? DJ studio. I've been actually working with my artist, Allie Caldwell. For okay. those that might have seen her, she was on uh, The Four. Yeah. You know, so I've been working on her album, which is coming out soon. And nice. rocking with, working with Rob, working with, with Will, Day 26. Wow. Working. That's a major project right there. I love it. Yeah. It sound like yesterday, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Their voice, I was blown away by what I heard tonight. The melody, the harmony, you don't hear that too much now, right? You know what's the crazy thing about it? You was blown away tonight? That's just two of them. I know. <laughs> I was like, imagine if it's you actually all were five here, of them. right? Well, four now, but it's five of them. I mean, it's, I could imagine seeing all of them. And right. they're on tour right now, doing it up. So big, big shout out to them for that. Right, right, right. And you work with some of the greats. We talked about that the last time, like Dipset, a couple of other artists, a lot of people right, you work right, with. Right. Mary J, did you yes. mention? I mean, yes. major, major people in L the game. L, Fat Joe, the Clips, you know, uh, Black Sheep. 
the resume a is lot crazy. More, yeah. Yes, the resume is off. So who who would you who are you looking forward to? Well, matter of fact, what projects are you looking forward to? Like any personal projects that you want to work on coming up? I want to get on Jeremiah's new album. That's that's you like do? like Jeremiah right now. That that's that's my right, dude. So right. you know, um, that's the project I really want to work on, and the actual project that I'm working on. Allie Caldwell, my artist, you right, know. Right, of course. Um, and but Jeremiah do have a nice, I love his voice. I definitely follow his music as well. Yeah. So I can see the way that you do your beats and your music combined with him, that would be, we put it out there, right? We put it yeah, out there. That yeah. would be crazy. Jeremiah, holla. Right, holla at you. Now, how can anybody else follow you and see what you're doing? Just follow me on Music Maestro. M-U-S-I-C-M-Y-S-T-R-O. That's on everything. Music everything, Maestro. Everything, y'all. All right, right. y'all, there you have it. Music Maestro's in the building. He worked with some of the heavy hitters, y'all. Follow yep. him and support. That's what it is. Hey, everybody, I'm standing here with B-Way, the host of the event tonight. He's also one of the big wigs in Not For Nothing Music, right? Like, give us a know. little, we talked about the background and everything before. Give us some of the latest developments that's happening for the label right now. Well, right now, we about to, um, we're actually about to hit the road Yes, right Cali after, right after. And bring uh, somebody, I don't want to say no name. You don't want to say? I don't want to say no name. <laughs> but we about to do something real big, and it's a road trip. Um, other than that, not for nothing, it's just moving. New deal with Sony, new deal with Empire. Nice. You know what I mean? We weighing a lot, but we working, you know what I mean? Working with Day 26, William Raw was here. It was an amazing show. Yes, it you was amazing I mean? tonight. I definitely love all the artists brought it. Everybody did gave their best show. I was blown away by at least three, four. Uh, but everybody was good across the board. I don't even want to say that. I think everybody really showed out tonight and showed their true talent. Now right? they came in and killed. They De came in and killed. Definitely. So what are some of the things you're looking for in an artist? If you you know, if you want to pick up somebody new, what are some of the qualities you're looking for? Um, consistency. You know what I mean? Just a steady hand. You know what I mean? I like somebody that don't flinch when they're up there. Just do what you're going to do. Don't, don't blink. Right. Don't make no apologies, you know right. what I mean? And take risks, you know what I mean? Right, because you've been looking, you know, through this lens, this A&R lens for quite some time, so you definitely know quality. Well, I'm a director, I'm not an A&R, you know what I mean? But No, 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 no. I see how you are. You no, know? definitely no. I'm saying you've been an A&R for many, many years. Oh yeah, oh You're yeah. You're definitely oh, yeah. not still an A&R. Oh, Let's yeah. get it right. Let's get it right. He is a director now, but I'm saying he's been out Looking for talent. He's seen many oh yeah, people. Oh yeah. He know how to distinguish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's yeah. what I mean. It's all in the believability. Like, right. if you don't have believability, I don't want to deal with you because right. how can other people buy into what you're giving right. if they don't believe it? You know what I mean? Now, so. the marketing and promotions of it, how is that today? Because it's different, right? The if you don't have a budget, kill yourself. Mm. That's major. That's very important. Or you need to do it full time. If you're gonna do it yourself, you need to do it full time. Right. You can't have another job. No, you no, you can't. So I like how the fact earlier, Paperwork Joe told us about paperwork, getting contracts and everything That's together. His name. It's right. Like paperwork. And you're talking about the budget part, believability. You know, all those things go together. And that that artist package right there. You got to be able to throw all those elements in order to get a deal, distribution, and things like that. So what is your label looking to do as far as distribution for artists? Well, right now we're trying to make sure that the artists understand the business. Right. So it's not your traditional deal. It's, it's a deal where you learn the business, but you got to invest in yourself. You're becoming a businessman for yourself. Right. And once you embark on a distribution deal, you now own a company. Exactly. And if you do not run it, you're going to die. But if right. you do right by it, it'll flourish for you, you know? Well, that's the thing about being independent. You got to be willing to yeah, wear all together. hats. All hats. It's not just singing, songwriting, doing shows. It's the business part of it as well, which is just as important, right? That's a fact. That's a okay. fact. Okay. So make sure you follow B Way. Give me your social media. Big B Way. B I G B W A Y. Not for nothing. N O T. The number four. N O T H I N. Music. You know what I mean? Not for nothing. Music. That's what we do. That's what they do, y'all. We'll be back. We'll be back with more. This is all about music tonight. Debra Coco. Not for nothing. Music. Debra Coco. Not for nothing music. Yeah, but it's Debra Coco. And just give me the mic. You're so right. what? It's Debra right. Coco. I don't You're care. Right. You're right. Not for it's nothing, y'all. <laughs> hey, everybody. There you have it. Not for nothing music entertainment. Awesome show tonight. Great people were in the building as one celebrating this thing called music. 
the love of music. Real artists were in the building. Make sure you support Not For Nothing. Make sure you support Day 26 and their new project. Catch them on tour. Make sure you support Not For Nothing. If you want to be an artist or want to see if you can be a part of the label, make sure you reach out to B-Way or reach out to Joseph Odom on social media. They definitely have an awesome package, distribution, a lot of things they can bring to you to help advance your career. Again, I'm your girl Deborah Coco here at Rockies. I have a show called Just Give Me The Mic. Make sure you follow me on all social media. Look me up on YouTube, check out some of my videos, and subscribe to the channel. And also, shout out to Rock Runner Entertainment in the building. It's been a great night as usual. And make sure you support them at their next showcase coming out sometime in September, y'all. Thank you for joining. Everybody, come on, let's go. And I'm ready, girl, I'm ready, girl, I'm ready. Party.